Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to give you a demo of the new AI analyst. We recently released the AI analyst 3.0, which is the biggest AI release that we've done in the last 15 months. And it essentially comes with five AI capabil capabilities to help you summarize and analyze your data sets. And so we're going to walk through them together to show you step by step how to use it. So the first thing that you'll need is a data set, so a table with data for you to start working on it. In this example, we have a data set from an e-commerce store that sells cookies with you know, a bunch of columns, but it can be anything that you have. It could be a CSV file, it could be something from one of our integrations. As long as it is a table with a few columns and a few rows, you can get it and start using it. Now, you'll see that any every table has an AI analyst button, and this is essentially the entryway to this copilot. And one thing that is helpful is how does the analyst think? This is basically a step-by-step -step co-pilot. So you ask it questions to add columns, questions about KPIs, questions about charts, and it's building this analysis step-by-step -step, and you basically do one operation at a time. And it comes with some pretty special and wide-ranging capabilities. So the first thing that you can do is you can format your table. So in this example, for example, revenue and cost are formatted as numbers. I might want it to be formatted as dollars. I can just ask that, right? So format revenue and cost in UST. There's a typo, it doesn't really matter. It's able to understand at a higher level what are the columns and what you want to get from them. See that the analyst is always affecting a specific table. So in this case, it is in the data set table. If you have other tables or other data sets, you need to call each individual analyst. And now it already formatted the data. It formatted to everything. And so this is capability number one. All of the formatting that we have at Rolls, you can essentially talk through it. And now you can continue in the chat interface building up your analysis. One of the new capabilities is adding new columns. This is very helpful to extend your data set, create new variables and have a bigger kind of extension of features to work on. And so in this example, I might want to add a new column with profit. So I can say add a column with the profit. I don't really need to specify how the profit is calculated, what is the formula to use the profit. You will derive that and will create the column. You see, here it is. It comes with the formula, so if I want to debug it, I can always see what the formula is, and it essentially already up updated it to the whole column. See, without needing context, I can just add more information to it. So this is the type of column A. It's perfect to do things like, you know, add a column with a month, add a column with a profit, add a column with an interval of, of salary. So this type of classic formulas that you can use. But the analyst also uses some formulas which are unique to us, specifically our OpenAI integration to do things like tagging, sentiment analysis, really powerful web browsing capabilities. So I can say, for example, let's say that I want to do an analysis on the regions, like what is my profit or my number of orders for regions, but the address doesn't have region but I can just ask it. I can ask, add, add, an add a new column that classifies the address into the seven US regions. I'll click there. And what we will see is that other than using, it, it's not gonna be using a very complex if formula that might be flaky. It actually uses one of our custom classify OpenAI formula. So you see here we have the classify OpenAI formula that takes the address and gives it the tags. And it basically does this automatically for everything. You can see how powerful this is to tagging text, classifying, extracting information from tasks. You can do all of these automatically without having to do manual work or if formulas or anything like that. So this is kind of the capability number one was formatting cells. Capability number two is adding columns. You can also do the traditional question. So you can ask, for example, what's the median revenue? And it will answer directly with just one KPI. It also does these types of simple questions that you might want to know as you're talking with a data set. Right? So kind of capability number one, formatting cells, adding columns, rich columns or classic formula columns, and also here specific form, uh, just insights. Right? And now what I can do is I can create pivot tables as well, summarizing, slicing the data to continue my analysis. So I can ask what were, or how many orders, for example, how many orders did I have per day? In this case, this is more of a complex reply. So what we normally call a deep dive or a pivot table or a slice, in each, it will take the whole table, it will analyze and it will output a formula or a table with you know, the, in this case, the orders per day. So you see here it is, number of orders per day. Here we have for every day. Something that's really interesting is that all of this is connected back to the main table. So you see here in this example, we're selecting a column, we're counting it, we're grouping it by day. And this means that if the data changes in the original file, the analysis will also change with it. So 
city number of orders per day. I can also ask it to analyze the data from columns that I just added. So if I ask what about per region, it will also understand that we mean how many orders per region. The region was a new column that was just added was this AI, AI column and you will create an analysis on top of that. Right? So this is what we mean when we say it's a step-by-step -step copilot. You ask it one question, then you can analyze it on top of that. So here it is, the number of orders per region, the count of orders per region. It always has here a footnote to tell us what this is in case we want to share this report. It adds a little bit more metadata. And this is the capability number four, adding summaries and slices and pivot tables. And the fifth one is you can also use it to create charts. So in this case, if I want to create a chart from this table, I'll just click this button here and I'll say turn into a bar chart, for example. Same logic here, you can see the context of this the analyst that I'm on this table here. I've asked it to create the chart, here it is. And now I can use the rows capabilities within charts. I can format it, add a subtitle, add, you know, for example here, maybe I wanna do a call out and say, you know, this was a Friday sale. I can then basically use all of the other features of rows to continue my report. And this is essentially it. It's really a new transformative way of using spreadsheets. See that it's essentially natural language. I can use it to format my data set, add new columns, use these really rich AI formulas to do things like getting stock data, information about companies, extracting tags, and then I can use it to summarize my data, get quick KPIs, get summaries of, with tables, create charts, and it really supercharges how I can use a spreadsheet and make sense of the data. So here it is. It's always on the top right quarter for every table. Let us know what you think.